Oh, so this is like a, a crane that pulls everything out of the water. Thanks to a set of VR goggles, Marje Flowers and Shelby Buchanan can visit a nature preserve. I thought my favorite one was the one where two, a girl and a boy were talking about snakes and turtles because like that's something new. I like I don't really see snakes often and then you got to see the water and then you got to look around and you got to see the entire environment and it looked just so cool and you just felt so like you felt right there on the spot listening to these two people. This particular setup is called the Victory Virtual Reality System. CEO Steve Grubbs says adding VR to the science curriculum is one way to help students learn. He spoke to VOA by Skype. American students are failing the standard of science and education. And so we believe that virtual reality is a way to better educate students, to immerse them. And instead of students fighting to be first in line to go to lunch or gym or recess, what we have found is that students want to learn once they have the opportunity to put on the headset and learn in virtual reality. Grubbs points to studies showing that students who use VR are better able to remember what they learn. Once kids are immersed and, and enthusiastic about learning, it, it follows that they're going to retain more of that information and to understand it better. And so, uh, you know, it, it makes sense to people and it makes sense to us. Grubbs also says that VR in some cases really provides a safer learning environment. The kids seem to love it. And then the rooms with the cartoons, I thought those were like really cool. And I thought it was cool that you could go into different rooms instead of staying in one spot watching one thing. The Victory VR system is already in classrooms in parts of Asia, Canada, and the Caribbean, and will launch in some U.S. schools next month. Kevin Enix, VOA News.